So they'll be calling you a radical. This is an important video. We've got to decide how we're going to take this activism forward. The post Citrus Army, our small group. This is getting so much attention in SoCal finally. Better late than never. Johnny come fuck lately. The surfers are all over. The LA Times has finally reported. Dana Points finally woke the fuck up after all this hard work. It's important. Look. Not on the fucking beach. You know I fucking used to put those posters up all over San Diego. Not on the fucking beach. Not on the, it can't stay there. We don't want it. I mean, it's a nightmare. We've got what it takes. Right now, finally. Finally in San Diego, we've got what it takes. You know, so this is important. Real important. Now, listen to me. I'm going to give a dissertation. We're teachers, right? That's what we are as teachers. I had a conversation just now with the head of the whole teaching department at Weber State. Her, I says, she didn't know who Fawn McKay Brody was. I'm like, what? Look, I said, she was a teacher here, a 19 year old teacher, the youngest dean. You know, the great Salt Lake. I'll get into all this, but stay with me on this. I says, that's what we, I mean, look, Michelangelo, art is nothing more than the former community, Leah Patel. I'm Balco, 500 years ago, right now. He had to hide in his bunker because he was telling the truth. The panty painters have taken the field just like they did, freaking to him. His stuff's all painted over. I mean, YouTube, what they've done, I could sit and prove to you. I could show you live footage of uh, who really killed JFK. It showed you, freaking right there. You still wouldn't watch. You're that branded in dogma. You're that hypnotized by what? It, it kills me how the Trump administration, the evangelicals of this country, and the Mormons are on their knees for Donald Trump. I want to ask the evangelical, how the fuck does this guy represent you? He's nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. What, because Fox News told you? Fucking Alex Jones told you? The useful idiots? I mean, Fox News running right out of the house. I mean, fucking talk about you. I mean, it's unbelievable. Fuck. I mean, this dogma, I mean, we're teachers. Fucking the form, the art of communication. I mean, I've used the right genre in the right form, in the right place, in the right fucking time, in the right intensity. Period. Fuck. had a real great conversation with the coach there D about he says god you're so tough so I says they're shooting down there the Weber State players are there I says I'm 58 years old I'm out here way past the three-point line any bets one shot no warm-ups no nothing one shot one shot any bets and they're going oh, blah, 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 blah. okay do you want me to do it blindfolded so I even did a step back I got one foot and went And they says, do it now. I says, oh no, I'm walking away on that one on the top. So now hear me out. I'm not on the beach. Now listen to me. And I'll slow down a little bit. I know I confuse whatever because apparently I do have to, you know, see Dick and Jane. Okay. Now let me explain to all the activists in San Diego. We're glad to have you. I'm so happy you're finally here. The posters are on. Peter, you know, Chuck, her. I mean, Donna, I mean, everybody, I'm so glad you're finally here. We've been battling these for so long, our grassroots activists. We need you. We want you, you know. The whistleblower that came forward, you know, our, I mean, I've been whistleblowing. This whole thing's been going along a long time. We finally got some media. Now, listen, here's where we attack this. This is important. This is real important in South Carolina. There was a big conversation with one of the Congress, and he's still talking yucky, 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 yucky. Feinstein and Heller killed the funding on yucca for the entire year. It ain't gonna happen till at least next year. Now hear me, it's, this ties into South Carolina, the Moxfield fairy tale, coming back from Japan, what didn't come in the Japan, Fukushima, 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 dead tide pools, freaking at your feet. They're already trucking through Savannah River, the Moxfield back from Japan, to whip. I hope the wind isn't screwing this up. We'll redo it if it is. This is the irony, I'm with Peter and you know, his roommate's an alcoholic, you know, and. He's blah, 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 and his friend comes in or another out. But until, yeah, he says, I'll tell you what, Kevin, you're anti new, you know. He says, I worked on the pilot program. I says, what pilot program? WIP, this Western Initiative. We drew the out, they never build. I says, oh, they build it. Well, everybody's been asleep, fire and shiny ball. They've been taking it there. Now, this is a fact you get from no one but me. There's a major mining operation that's been going over the last three years. Now, you know WIP blew up. I'm the guy that reported from here. Peterson Fabricators right here, it blew up. The container blew up. Now, I'm putting up another the uh, footage uh, I shot we did that great piece with the artist with the helicopter laying on the beach here on the beach and Peter and I we stopped there we got that great footage that's the exact that's the week the week I have live footage the week that this accident happened I mean I'm always there I mean the, the light so listen to me 
I'll slow down. So, under the Patriot Act, again, Feinstein, Baron Antoinette, could have pocket beat it up. The nuclear waste in all reactors. So, Harry Reid, when he was head of the Senate, Mormon from here, right here, out here. Look at the smog one. Officially with the NRC, just with a stroke of the pen, Alison McFarland, Gregory Jacko, now Cynthia from Idaho National Lab, the corruption, turned all 104 nuclear waste dump sites into official waste, or nuclear reactors into official nuclear waste sites, including San Onofre. I said, you can't do that. Only Congress do it. I was in the hearings going crazy. I spent time with them all. I know every single one of them. You talk to the NRC, they're all afraid of me. Every single one of them know me by first name. The emails I have them, my name's all over them. You know, I was full of cancer fighting this. You can't do this. So we sued. Of course, these corrupted crap. I mean, courts, they don't care about the law. They ruled against us. So all 104 nuclear reactors, take one down, pass it around. They're shutting down like flies, and it's not the economics. If there was the economics, they'd never been there. We flip culture. We flip culture. As Dirty Herbie, Frank and our governor says, his famous quote, he likes to say, culture eats strategy for breakfast. That's right, Dirty Herbie, and the culture's changing fast right now against you. And so, I mean, you said you wouldn't bail out energy solutions, you bailed them out. The Santa Barbara generator is parked right there, the energy solutions dump site. We went over the Geiger County, illegal, illegal. They say they're gonna bring the Santa Barbara stuff here. It's against state law. It's where of the legal limits, why? Because they had a meltdown at Santa Barbara. It's spewed all over. So stay with me, this is real important. So, you're attacking it from the wrong angle. The California Coastal Commission, all these, they, they have no say, none, none, none. Department of Energy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the interior was here. I went at them. I tried to get into their face about San Onofre to the, you know, Madam Secretary. I don't call her fucking Madam. Fuck that royal shit. So, look, if we're going to get it off there, it's got to go to WHIP in New Mexico, which is already happening anyway. And legally, they can do this. They can move it to WHIP legally. Now, I granted, I, why would people in New Mexico, they don't make it have it, but it's already there. The apparatus is there. The major mining ration is oh, already there. They spent two billion re open with putting in the ground's a horrible idea. Temporary solution, absolutely. That's all we do here. Kick the can. Kick the can. I'm still a shooting into space guy. And I know that's a horrible idea. Harry Reid worked right here. So this is important because when Harry Reid worked at Thiokol right here, when the rocket, the Challenger rocket booster blew right there. Now we shot a load into space in 1997. Miko Kaku and I argued face to face, toe to toe. We were in Florida. It made it to Saturn. It took 20 years, it worked. Now granted, it's, there's some risk? Of course there's some fucking risk. But putting it in the fucking ground? We've proved that that does not work, it blow it up. But on the beach in San Diego, that's the, it's the insanity. San Onofre's the line is cheating, they're the poster child for everything wrong. I've been battling for my whole life. Fuck, look, why we've got this momentum, so I'm gonna ask you right here. We can move it to whip, legally. We've gotta attack the Department of Energy. We've got to go at the Department of Energy. That's the only way we can do this. And we don't have to have Congressional Act because this has been passed by law. They can legally move it right now. Yucca Mountain's not open. Yucca Mountain ain't going to happen. I'll tell you, the powers are being about to happen. Idaho National Lab, I'm telling you, it's not set up for it. Yellowstone, blah, blah. I mean, they're bringing some of the stuff there from Hunter's Point. It's corrupt as hell. There's protests going all over. People finally woke up to this thesis. I've been battling for my whole life while everybody was asleep. They've taken advantage of you, me. All I need is a miracle. No. All we need is a miracle. All we need is, all I need is a miracle. All I need is you. All I need is a miracle. All I need is you. That's all I need. That's all I need. So, we could do this. I know, I have the connections. I have the way, way to do it. I have an idea. I have a plan. Now, I want the activist community to decide. I haven't been able to raise enough money to go to Vienna. I've got to get my teeth fixed from, you know, paying off some of my, uh, I haven't, well, you know how I run on a shoestring. So, we need to decide where I go next. Do I go to San Diego and we organize and we work together and we really work hard and we plan at not on the fucking beach? You know, that's in an offer. You know, somewhere. San Clemente, whatever. But we cannot quit being this come by y'all hold fucking hands. This has to be intense fucking activism, smart activism, fucking strong act, the art of communication. We can't just speech to our fucking club. Now we got the media on our side now. We got the surfers. It's important the young surfers are with us finally. Now there's one of the head young surfers who owes me. A guy was gonna beat him up for putting his car, his car was breaking down at the bottom of the canyon right there on fucking PB Point. I stuck up for his ass. 
and he says, God Almighty, you saved me. And this kid was going to, I mean, slap, and I'm, whoa, dude, you're out of line. His car's breaking out. He didn't mean to part that, blah, blah, blah. I got in this guy's face. This guy's why I'm out. I'm like, don't fuck with me. He says, God, you saved me. And then he, conversation about head of the service, so I knew about Santa Auburn. I says, well, get on my team. I can do this. Or do I go to Vienna? Now, Vienna, it's important. Now, hear me out. The IAEA is meeting on the 16th, the international. They all meet once a year. They're all, everybody who's there is there. I've worked hard. I have permission where to protest. Nobody's ever done this. Right where they have to go in. I know how to do it. I've got permission to protest and what we call, it took me getting detained in there. These are the decisions being made internationally on all the nuclear waste, these corrupt bastards. Do I protest them? Now, if I'm gonna go to Vienna, I need a plane ticket to Vienna, Austria. I gotta be there on the 15th till the 27th. I gotta have a place to stay in Vienna. You know, a little bit of food money, that's it. So, plane ticket, I mean, they're a thousand bucks. You know, staying there, I could probably pull that off for a thousand bucks. You know, food, I mean, it, at the very minimum, I could probably pull it off for, you know, $2,500, $3,000. Do we organize not on the fucking beach? I mean, the YouTube kind of the art of communications, and like I said, it really doesn't matter. It's like when I was a young guy doing research work, I'd always pray, God, I wish somebody had something in the library, and I'd dig through the fucking library, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I post and tag these things so people can come, and if you don't think it works, the girl got the interview with John Holdren. That's how she got onto this. She was researching, researching. John Holdren Mellon, she watched my videos about him, and she learned so much, she knew what to ask him, and he squealed. I mean, it's powerful shit. This genre is powerful. It's nothing but the art of, that's all art is. That's all art is. I don't care if you're painting, whatever. It is the art of communication. Now, what is it you're trying to communicate? This is the greatest story in the fucking history of mankind. Fucking trying to communicate the, this disaster called nuclearism. I mean, I said relocate it, and we can do this. We can strategize, we can get together, we can come with a plan, we can start working with the DOE. Now, I know how, I have connections all over in the Department of Energy. We're gonna get nowhere with anyone else. They have total 100% control of what happens to this, the Department of Energy, period. Under the Patriot Act, under the fucking, they can move it without even telling us. By law, by law, which they do already. I mean, it's a disaster having those canisters on the fucking beach. It's a nightmare, whole tech from fucking hell. And look, if San Lover goes, this is how important it is. If San Lover goes, the rest is important. It's important in Vienna big time. This international fucking, we have the wind behind our fucking backs. Finally, finally, let's fucking do it. Here, you know, you're talking to people about the Great Salt Lake going dry. It's the ecology stupid. It becomes as natural as occupying a bird refuge, the collapse of the ecology here. I mean, it's unbelievable. By the way, I don't think I've ever talked about how rare this is. I fucked it up. Real famous artist made this and gave it to me. Oh. If you only knew what that's worth. <sighs> but I ain't about to sell that. Well, that's going to be in the fucking museum someday. I want to talk about the Great Salt Lake and this collapse. This is usually when we get crystal clear, clear blue Italian stream fucking skies here in Utah. Crystal blue. We've had no water. We've got a drop beyond a drop from hell. Beyond. See if she's still going. Remember, I was given two months to live right there in that room. Almost seven years ago right now. What a historic fight. Thank you to everybody who supported my historic fight in so many ways. Not just with money, with prayers, thoughts. So many. So see how blue the skies are? See how blue, beautiful blue they get this time of year? I shot that perfect video. I got to get out the jetty. The only video that's ever been shot at Spyro Jetty, it's perfect level. Not just in future, in history. I shot 2012. By the way... Right as I'm talking about Peggy Guggenheim, where's our Peggy Guggenheim? I mean, the ice in the desert, the famous sculptor shows up, just driving there, and just starts to, God, he was left. We had quite a stock, you knew Peggy Guggenheim, I mean, you can't make it up. You know, there are no, all these philanthropists all with their money and whatever, I mean, I guess they just take it by their way to heaven, you know, because it's killing them too. Look at this, so you see how blue the skies are, okay? I want you to look, look at that horizon. Oh, I hope this camera does some justice for it. The Great Salt Lake is completely gone dry. To the, I mean, to the point where there's lakes running. So there's, we're picking up toxins out there 
that we don't even know what the hell they are. So Dryas has been in millions of years since it broke through right over there by the jetty. And is, I mean, I call it the new Dust Bowl. It molds the grapes of wrath. So we figured out this army, we have to keep going. We've got a lot of momentum in San Diego. This is a big deal. You know, this whistleblower, you wouldn't even know about that whistleblower if it wasn't our, for our small army. You know, we got Rachel down there that was in Japan. We can organize with her. Peter, I mean, the surfers, we've got to come together. We've got to get together. I mean, we've got to fucking join together on this fucking thing. You know, I'll quote Freedom Eisenblau in Vienna, Austria on the 200th anniversary of Barlow. Kevin, you are the lightning rod. You are the spear. Don't you drop this fucking spear. Don't you drop it. You know, on the 200th anniversary of Waterloo, in her house. And she's gone now. This is the biggest issue in the world. By The salmon are completely collapsing on the Columbia. Tib's got some really great footage he shot today up there I'll put up. You decide. Where do we go from here? All I need is a miracle. All we need is a miracle. All I need is you. Stand tuning. So, you decide. You know, you know who you are. The people that support my activism, our group. What do you think? We want to make the best, most, the biggest bang for our buck. So I go back to Vienna. Be there to protest. All of them, the heavy hitters, every single one of them will be there. I'll post the link. You know, and I got permission. It took me a while. Or do we go back to San Diego? Or both. And, uh... We organize with the surfers. We've got to, you know, and just the rest of you vlog, we start organizing. I'm going to call it not on the fucking beach. You know, spelled in fucking, F-U, and then we use little asterisks on the F -U, on the poster. So I'm going to start making posters. We'll have a poster contest. So I'm launching the poster contest right now. Here's the poster contest, and I'll, here's the rules. Not on the fucking beach. So not on the F-U, which Fuctonium, f to u and then I use little, whatever, I like to use little snails, typo creatures for my, I'll show you, I have some, and I like to put them up, and uh, so that'll be the poster contest we'll have, not on the fucking beach, you know, I'll put, in Vienna, I'm going to stand there with my sign that says, you killed the Pacific Ocean, you know, because there's been no resistance, just like Alice McFarland, the only person that's ever went after these people is Kevin Blanche, Picasso, See our communication. We're all teachers, right? We're all teachers. That's what we do. Whether it's a YouTube camera in a classroom or Fama K. Brody from her literature from the grave. You know, reading these classic novels, this you know, this powerful genre, we'll be able to go back in time and look and watch. We're teachers. You know? That's what we do. So let's do this right. You decide. Not on the fucking beach. Big deal right now. I'm telling you, it's the biggest issue in the world. The greatest issue in the world is Fukushima. These fucking scumbags. What is the punitive damage for killing the Pacific Ocean? San Onofre's hot. San Onofre's hot. I'm telling you. That a meltdown. They want to bring the waste here? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's illegal here. Because it's not low. It's hot. We proved that. When it, I mean, it's a nightmare. Let's take back our fucking beach. Let's take back our fucking place. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. Talk about a fucking slam dunk. The San Onofre slam dunk, huh? We got time to do this? I better cut it off. You got it. Fuck. Spud Webb. Fuck, how great was he? Oh my god. Yeah. The slam dunk at San Onofre on the beach. Fuck the slam dunk. We don't want those slam dunks there. We want to be a long range three point fucking jumper shot into space. Move it to whip, centrally locate it, and get it. And we can do that. We can do that without permission. We can do it through the DOE. I can do it. I can pull this off. I just need your help. I can do this. You want this off the fucking beach of San Diego? I have the ability to do it. I have the connections in the deal. I have the place. I can pull it off. I'm telling you, I can pull it off. Let's fucking at least try. Stand to